And I want you to think about your life. Because tonight I'm not, you know, I'm not questioning your faith. I'm not questioning, do you love Allah? Habibi, we all talk the talk. Brother, I love Allah. I'll die for Allah. You know, I love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'll die for his sunnah. Yep, 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 yep. Habibi, Allah doesn't look for lip service. Allah looks for action. You look at your life. Do you really love Allah? Do you really love Salah? Do you really love the masjid? How do you know? But look at your relationship with it. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, if you're a wali of Allah, if you're a gun, if you're an absolute gun, you come to Jumu'ah's prayer. And not just any Jumu'ah. Wallahi, I get frankness, brother. Can you tell me what time is the khutbah there? I'm like, yeah, brother. So the khutbah starts at 1.15. He says, no, 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 no. As in what time do you pray the salah for the khutbah? Said, brother, I'm telling you, the khutbah is at 1.15. Who cares when the prayer is? You need to be there at 1.15. Tell me, brother, I'm not interested in the khutbah. What time is the salah? So I can double park. I come in, I pray my two rakat. I gotta go, bro. You live on that deen, you die on that deen. You see, every one of us here, and I'm sure, wallahi, I don't doubt, every one of us thinks, brother, I'm the best Muslim. Wallahi, I love Allah. I love the Quran. What well, do you really love the Quran? How much of it have you memorized? I'm 33. Uqsam Billah, I'm embarrassed to tell you how much Quran I've memorized. Wallahi, I'm embarrassed to tell you. Allah come pull me aside to me. Hey, Hubbas, you love the Quran? Astaghfirullah, bro. What are you saying? Well, I'll die for the Quran. Do you really, you spinner? Do you really? You still know the same five surah of Quran that you memorized when you were six years old. Allahu Alam, if you even read it properly. 30 years of life has passed you and you haven't increased a single verse of Quran. And you want to come play the violin and tell me how much you love the Quran. Habibi, look, you're not standing in front of me, you're standing in front of Allah. But do you really? So don't think everyone that gets cancer, well, he deals with it nice. Brother, yeah, cancer is good. It gives you a time to repent. It gives you a chance. Yeah, I wish I get cancer. Allahu Akbar. Look how arrogant we are. Why is it that when you think cancer, why is it that when you think cancer, Everyone buckles. But didn't Allah tell you you can die at any moment? Some of us have more yaqeen in the words of a doctor. Some of us have more yaqeen in the words of an unbeliever with a suit and a tie and a little certificate on the back. Some of us have more yaqeen in his words than the words of your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Really? When you read the hadith and when you read the ayat of Quran that that can come to you at any moment, you don't panic. But when a doctor tells you, look brother, after looking at your tests, Allahu Alam, we think you got about two weeks. <gasps> two weeks? Is that all I have? <laughs> you didn't react the same when Allah said you can die any moment. <laughs>